Hello. As you all know, system change is one of the two strategic objectives of USAID climate strategy. How this new approach can be applied on ground? For the next few minutes, I will be talking about system change approach that USAID Mission Pakistan is applying through its new water governance activity. I am Nawaz, working as Development Specialist for USAID Mission Pakistan. Before I talk about system change, let me provide you a brief context. Pakistan has been facing severe floodings, especially since 2010. The 2022 flood alone inflicted $15 billion loss to the economy and inundated a third of the country's land. Despite these frequent floods, Pakistan has already been declared as a water-scarce country where per capita water availability is declining rapidly. The challenge here is that floods are managed with fragmented approach and with reactionary strategy. Guided by the new CDCS, USAID Mission Pakistan is designing a new water governance activity to focus on flood management. During the design stage, the design team went to the communities and made site visits to the places which are affected by these frequent floods. They held several consultation meetings with stakeholders. And this is a point where at this design stage, system approach lens can be used. Before I talk about some of the observations, let me just describe what system change is all about. So I have no better words to explain it, but a quote that the systems we have are perfectly designed for the results we are getting. So coming back to the observations that the design team found during the site visit, there were two deep rooted mental models. Number one, that the first mental model is that flood is a threat, flood is a risk. And when it is considered as a risk, then it is perceived that nothing can be done to prevent it and all resources are put in protective mode. So uh, infrastructure is built downstream, which is washed again. The second mental model that the design team observed is that community is ignorant, they have no resources, and then a top-down approach is adopted where cultural uh, power, where cultural assets, cultural capital like uh, local in informal institutions, leadership and local resources are ignored. From this learning, a theory of change has been developed for this new water activity. This theory says that if a community driven bottom up approach where Look where, where cultural capital can be implied, which is trust, reciprocity and informal institutions. And if market driven mechanisms are adopted at a local scale to develop integrated water resources man management models, then floods could be transformed into economic opportunities through agriculture, forestry and other beneficial uses. So with this theory of change there is a big assumption that community will change its mental approach and for that matter the activity will work closely with community to raise their awareness to empower them to build their capacity and to build a strong linkages uh, among different actors of the systems physical systems and human systems and then these floods could be transformed into economic opportunity. And this is how the system change approach can help Pakistan manage its floods effectively and productively. Thank you very much.